bro, I probably read over 12 to 15 books within this past year. And the biggest lesson I took from each and every last one of those books, the biggest lesson I learned from all of those books is how to breathe. It's crazy because a majority of people in this world don't know how to breathe. And that's crazy because when you think about it, the only thing that's with you from the time you're born until the time of your death is your breath. You don't have a relationship with the one thing that's with you from the time you're born until the time that you die. That's crazy to think about because think about how you feel when you're mad. You start short breathing yourself. You start having short breaths. Think about how you feel when you're tired. You start having that short short breath. You start short breathing yourself. Think about how it feel when you're sad. Your stomach start turning. You start barely being able to breathe. Like, Think about how you're feeling when emotions, when negative emotions and things are passing through you. You have a shortness of breath. So when you learn how to control your breath, when you learn how to breathe, you can learn how to control those emotions. You can learn how to maneuver through those emotions. You can learn how to allow those emotions to pass through you. Because when negative emotions come through you, when negative like thoughts and stuff come through you and you start feeling mad, you start feeling sad, depressed or whatever the case may be, it's like your breath shortens. So that negative emotion that you're feeling, that negative thought that you're experiencing, it literally takes control of your life in that moment. If you're feeling depressed and your breath start getting short and you don't become aware of your breathing, if you don't learn how to breathe through that depression, that depression takes over your entire life in that moment. So you're going to sit in that state of depression for however long that depression wants to stay in your body, for however long that negative emotion wants to stay in your body. But when you learn how to breathe, it's like you putting yourself at a higher pedestal than that negative emotion. When you, learn how, when you learn how to breathe, it's like instead of getting consumed inside of that negative emotion, it's like you're taking a step out of that negative emotion and you're watching over the emotion. You see that it's inside you. You know that you're feeling the emotion. But when you breathe, it's like... You're literally breathing yourself out of the emotion and just watching it for what it is. So even though you feel depressed right now inside, you're not going to carry yourself with that depression. You're not going to allow that depression to take over your life. That's literally how I look at my entire life. Anytime I'm going through something, anytime I'm stressed, anytime I'm like feeling I'm mad or whatever the case may be, I look at it like I'm only one breath away from overcoming this feeling. You always only one deep breath away from removing any type of negativity from your life. That's all it takes because anytime some form of negativity arises in you, anytime you start feeling depressed, start feeling stressed, start feeling angry or mad or whatever the case may be, all you got to do is breathe. All you got to do is bring your attention back to your breath and control your breathing, control your breathing pattern. Breathe in four seconds and breathe out four seconds. Continue to do that until that emotion is gone. Continue to do that until that negative thought or emotion is gone. And it's going to remove itself because you're not giving your attention to the negative emotion. It's going to remove itself because you're not giving your attention to the negative thought. You're transcending that negative thought and emotion. And once you transcend that negative feeling that you're feeling inside, that negative thought you're thinking then there's no purpose for that emotion to be there, so it's going to remove itself. Then there's no purpose for that thought to be there, so it's going to remove itself because you're not giving it your attention. So that's the biggest lesson I learned from all the books I read, bro. It's like, you just got to learn how to breathe because that's the one thing that's with you from the time that you... That's the one thing that's with you from the time you're born and to the time of your death is your breath. And when you learn how to breathe, when you build a relationship with your breath, you can literally maneuver through anything in your life. You can literally overcome any obstacle. You can literally overcome and remove any negative thought or emotion. Because your breath is the power behind all of these things. 
the moment you stop breathing, it's the moment you're going to die. So whatever emotion or thought or whatever situation that you're going through, if you learn how to breathe through that, you're going to transcend that thing. You're going to overcome that thing. And you're going to begin to look down on that emotion. You're going to begin to look down on that negative thought or situation that you're in. And you're going to be like, bro, like, like what about, like, <laughs> Or you just gonna be like, bro, why was I even mad? Why was I even sad about that? Why was I even taking that personal? Why was I even tripping over that? Like, that's how you're gonna look at life. And that's how I carry myself throughout whatever I'm going through in life. I just learn, I just breathe through it. Cause that's all it takes. You only one breath away from freeing yourself. You only one breath away from freeing yourself from that anxiety, from that depression, from that anger feeling, from that negative emotion, from that negative thought. You only one breath away. So whatever you're going through, whatever you're stressing about right now, whatever you taking personal, whatever you like feeling right now, any negative thought or emotion that you're feeling right now, just breathe through it. Because when you breathe through it, you're going to free yourself from that negativity that you're experiencing right now. And once you free yourself, once you transcend that negative thought, emotion or situation, whatever you're in, now you free to do what you want to do. But it all comes back to that breath. That's all it takes. You're always only one breath away from freeing yourself. So other than that, make sure you like and share this video with someone who needs to hear this. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. I'm sending you peace. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you blessings as always. Elevate.